Electric power comes from wall sockets. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. Electric power networks are complex systems and controlling and protecting them becomes more and more complicated. Renewable energies, energy trading and also smart grids uh, require better systems, systems that have to be tested. Relay Lab Test offers a new approach for testing protection systems. Handle the complexity by just simulating the network. Simulate all the network elements, but also simulate everything that can go wrong. And in a single network, there's an infinite number of faults that can occur. We are using massive test automation and statistic analysis of the test results to make testers' life easy. Months of manual work can be performed within minutes. So Real Lab Test is a very usable product and uh, this is also part of a strategic goal of Omicron to provide the testers with uh, tools that make their life easy. Omicron likes to offer good looking products with an optimized workflow. We chose Centigrade as our partner for the usability and the visual design and that was a very good decision. Together we worked successfully on the design and on the implementation of the product with great results. When designing a software product as complex as Relay Lab Test, one essential necessity is to get everyone in the development team share exactly the same vision. And I think there are two aspects of this. First of all, it's of course about imagining the vision, but second, it's also about materializing that vision in a way that provides a very clear and tangible picture to everyone. And this in turn uh, generates incredibly detailed feedback at a time where no single line of code has been written yet. Now, take the Relay Lab Test Grid Editor as an example. Um, the Grid Editor is an area in the user interface that completely builds on direct manipulations from end users. So, uh, grid elements are placed, uh, rearranged, connected, parameterized, etc. in a very high frequent manner. And when it comes to designing such micro-interactions, every single detail in the concept must fit um, and it starts with, a, with the right metaphor. When we observed how competitors of Omicron solve grid editing, we soon had the feeling that there was something wrong with their approach somehow. Uh, grid editing just felt clumsy and awkward and the main problem in our view was that they all saw grid editing as some kind of uh, drawing task. But after some end user analysis, we felt that grid editing is more like a construction task, a building task. So um, as a consequence, we came up with that mosaic element metaphor. And this lead metaphor of real physical elements went along with the entire grid editor design process from start to end. Yes, and that really was a source of inspiration and mutual understanding throughout the team. We first started with paper and pencil scribbles, which we discussed with Omicron's product manager. After that, we created those huge tables of interaction rules that we validated together with the development team until we finally arrived at a detailed high fidelity prototype that even included animations. For example, when you uh, take those grid elements and they approach, as a user, you see these nice little animated tractor rays that indicate that there's a magnetic attraction going on. The grid editor is just one example, but not just this module took benefits from our design process. Um, the entire application with all its screens did so. Basically, everyone in the team knew where we would be going with the product. Designers and developers worked together throughout the whole project. We are an agile team. It was not easy to integrate development and design, but we were able to set up a process which gave us the flexibility and speed we needed. As a developer, I can tell you it was a tough challenge in the beginning to work so close together with UA designers. Really lab test was written for .NET using WPF for the user interface. So in theory, designers produce XAML using Expression Blend and developers produce C Sharp using Visual Studio, working on exactly the same solution file. We were skeptical that this approach also works in real life. But very soon we saw that the first results were just amazing and that made us hungry for more. At that point, we all knew that this collaboration and combination of our all know-how will result in a great software product. So yes, we really think that this uncompromising design-first approach that Omicron boldly enabled us to take was one essential ingredient responsible for Relay Lab Test success and um, 
In fact, um, I think it was key to the extraordinary smooth collaboration between uh, Omicron's developers and, and Centigrade's design engineers.